With New Zealand in the thick of a cost of living crisis, there's been a lot of chat about food prices. So who's offering the best deal? Well, let's find out. We're starting off here at Pack and Save, where they and the rest of the foodstuff owned grocery stores have just rolled back the price on more than 110 of the most shopped items. They estimate it'll save customers over half a million dollars each week. When it comes to vegetables like potatoes, the price rollback at foodstuffs only includes a bag of potatoes. But in order to keep it fair when we're comparing the price with other supermarkets, we're just going to grab a couple and compare the price per kg. We're now here at Countdown. Now, they've recently put a price freeze on 500 essential items. Whatever the price they were as of May 9th, they'll stay for the coming winter months, regardless of inflation. So let's go check it out. So like Pack and Save, Countdown has only applied their price freeze on a number of items that they have deemed as essential. But again, to try and keep it fair, we've just gone with the closest match we can find. Finally, we've popped over to the warehouse. Now, they've been considering getting fully into the grocery game amid the price concerns with our two major supermarkets, but they do already stock some grocery items, so we're here to check out what they have and at what price. The warehouse say they've seen huge demand for items like butter, milk and bread, but they don't stock fresh fruit and vegetables yet though, so we've had to leave that out. So as you can see, the warehouse actually have quite a wide range of groceries and they've reintroduced a chilled section, albeit small, it's, it offers all the things you need. You've got cheese, you've got bacon and you've even got milk here too. So how did the supermarkets stack up? Well, Pack and Save came to a total of $31.27, while the final bill at Countdown was almost $10 more at $41.28, the likes of cheese significantly more expensive. Our shop at the warehouse came to a total of $30.54 without the fresh produce, butter and cheese, which were the exact same brands as those offered at Countdown, both a better deal. Although Pack and Save came out the clear winner, there are a lot of variables at play here. And while some items were cheaper, some were not. So it pays to do your research and keep an eye out for specials that could make your next shop a little bit cheaper. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.